The challenge is actually being the most accurate for the scientific world and to also make sure that the story is entertaining enough so everybody's going to have a bit of a taste of both. The Victorian collectors like Bates, they were all about the detail and of course that's a gift for a production designer because all the knickknacks, all the things that, that Bates collected over his 11 years, she's collected and she has them hanging in the scene and it's fascinating, I mean your eyes drink up the sets. We have 125 scientific and historical advisors. And over the last three years, we looked very closely at the material that existed. We had to go through letters, we had to go through a lot of historical documents, over 400 as a matter of fact, to get little, little shreds, little gems of information. In here, what we have tried to achieve is to translate the descriptions that Bates had about how, how was his living arrangements in the river back in the day. We know that the interior of the cabin of his ship was actually a mobile laboratory. The team involved in researching this has done just an amazing job at digging up every possible fact and facet of Bates' life, and things that are going on in history and in science and, and in England, as well as what the Amazon was like at this time. So that everything in the film Everything you see is as authentic as possible. All of the scientific discovery, all of the scientific thinking is grounded, is based on historical, factual, scientific evidence. Bananas weren't available until a certain period of time. Certain tools weren't available. What time were they available and what time are we in the movie? We're, we've drawn a line and we've made sure that everything that we've got is scientifically and historically accurate. The place looks amazing, amazing. Probably one of the best sets I've ever seen. The feel of what it's like to be a scientist. So when we were doing the thing, when we were filming outside the hut, for example, um, we ended up putting a, a papaya on the ground, messing it up a bit. Because, you know, yes, you would chuck that outside and you'd know that the birds would come and eat it, you'd know that the, the chickens would come and eat that papaya. Otherwise, it looked too neat. And it gives that little sort of touch of reality. It's incredibly wonderful. And I'm now just trying to make sure we put the right drawings and specimens onto the desk. Boat is ready. Call me Captain Wallace. Oh, yeah. yeah. Being an educational movie, people are going to look at this and go, is that what it was really like? And we can say, yes, it was exactly like that.